was playing stupid games, girl. Can I get your name when we started talking? Yo. Y'all see this? Dog, my hair has never been this long. Yo. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Lo. No one look at you, you know what I'm saying? Coming back to another video. And today, I'm going to be telling you five reasons why you should start freeforming your hair. Now, before we get into this video, you know what I'm saying? Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't be dumb as hell. Click the bell. Turn on post notifications so you can get notified every single video. We're going to get straight to it. But um, y'all probably wondering, like, how is my hair looking like this? How my hair is this long right now? Honestly, this is still considered freeforms, but I did two strand twist my hair literally not too long ago. I two strand twisted my hair, I left it in for like legit like five, seven minutes. I took them out and it came out like this. Um, and as y'all can see, I didn't two strand twist the whole hair, you know, just the front. But now I'm thinking I might just do the rest, you know, might as well even it out, right. Yeah, I'm loving this right here. No cap. But anyways, I'm doing too much talking. Let's get straight into the reasons. You did. The first reason why you should freeform your dreads is because it will prevent the scalpy look. As y'all can see, y'all, I can't even see my roots. You know what I'm saying? When you freeform your dreads, you know for the most part your roots. That is like the main thing about freeforming. Your roots will continue to grow. The ends will, you know, do whatever they like, but the roots will continue to grow. And it will prevent that scalpy look because you know when you get a retwist, most of the times you see like straight scalp and everything. And I mean, to each its own. You know, some people like the scalpy look. Some people prefer more fuller look. You know, no scalp, just straight hair covering their scalp. You know what I mean? So if you're a type of person who doesn't really like the scalpy look when it comes to retwist, or just doesn't like the scalpy look in general, that is one of the reasons why you should freeform your hair because. At all times, you'll always have like, you know, some type of hair underneath and you won't really see like, you know, scalp like in your sections and everything like that. So that is one reason why you should freeform your hair. The second reason why you should freeform your hair is because it prevents thinning dreads. Because as you know, anybody starting off with dreads, you know, thinning dreads is a thing that can happen, you know what I mean? Especially if you were like, you know, going along the way how I'm doing my hair, you know, trying to do like, you know, skinny dreads or whatever, or even in the long run of dreads, you might run across, you know, having thinning dreads. And in order to prevent that, yes, yeah, simply just to free from your hair. Um, if you have more hair in your roots, or not even just like the new growth, but really just like allowing the hair to mat up more, you know, the hair would tangle up over time as you you know let it grow which can prevent it from thinning out for the most part especially if you notice your hair is thin and skinny and you know you're scared of it you know thinning out for retwist you know just wait a little while if you still want to continue getting retwist i would say give bigger gaps in between your retwist get a retwist like say every month or two get a retwist every three to four months heck even go six months without a retwist and yeah you'll have like a you know a stronger base and it will prevent you from having thinning dreads so that none of your dreads fall off for the most part you know what i'm saying that, especially for someone like me having skinny dreads it's like one of the things that's like you know kind of scary in a way um i don't know i may or i may not combine my dreads not completely sure yet but yeah let's get on to the third reason the third reason why you should freeform your hair is because it can allow your dreads to get thicker. Now, if you want thick dreads as far as like, you know, in general, cause even though you see like how I have skinny dreads, right? If you freeform for the long run, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about no two to three months. You go like six to nine months, especially in the early stage before it initially locks up and you freeform for that amount of time, yes you will have thick dreads because your base will be so big and then you know your hair just keeps growing and even when you have skinnier dreads it allows your skinny dreads to get thicker along the way so yeah with freeforming hair you can get thicker dreads for the most part 
and it can help solidify your hair and you know make it more durable you know what i'm saying like a stronger base you know you have more hair around more matted hair which allows the dreads to be more thicker and you know healthier and stronger so you don't have to deal with breakage or anything like that you know what i'm saying so that is the reason why you should also free from your hair anyways let's get to the next reason the fourth reason why you should free from your dreads is because it will allow your hair to lock up more efficiently. Now, despite, you know, this little thing that I did in my hair, before my last retwist was back in like March, February, something like that. And I've been going like two, going on three months with no retwist. And I can tell you that my hair has literally began to lock and mats up. Even when I tried to like kind of two strand twist to do this, like I had to like break some hair. So like the hair was really, you know, locking up for sure. So when you freeform your hair, your hair will literally lock up. I'm telling you like, get whatever protect the hairstyle. You know what I'm saying? You, you get a twisty look like this, doing whatever, sponge your hair. Well, I ain't gonna lie, sponging is like more like a loose or a type of, you know, form. But yeah, if you got like a protective hairstyle, like two strand twists or something, finger coils, allow your hair to lock up. I'm telling you, like I didn't know this. This is something that I wish I knew from the beginning. Well, I probably did know from the beginning, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you start off dreads, you, you're all about, you know, trying to make your hair grow. So of course you want to just retwist it as much as you can. But I'm telling you right now, if you start, you get whatever, you know, start a lot. Two strand twist, finger coils, you know what I'm saying? leave your hair alone for at least two to four months like no retwist i'm telling you you're going to feel your hair like you're going to literally notice it your hair might freeform a little but your hair is going to initially lock and that's what i've noticed from freeforming even the first time i went because at first i was retwisting every month because you know if you look at any youtube video they always tell you retwist once a month I had, you know, short, skinny, two strand twists. That definitely was not the way to go. But I did retwist my hair every month for the first three months. Once I got to the fourth month, or no, actually the third month, that third retwist, I waited two months. When I got to my fifth month, that's when I had noticed, like, you know, fourth and fifth month transition. My hair was actually matting up more, it was locking up. It started to feel a little different, it started sticking up crazy, and that was kind of like the start of this kind of semi-freeform look I got going. And yeah, that's basically what it was. So, the longer you wait, the more your hair locks efficiently. So, it is kind of true what they say when you start dreads, like, really just let them do their thing. I'm talking about like, try not to scratch it as much, Try your best not to get water in it as much. Like literally wash once a month, but not even once a month. Like more like wash it every month and a half to two months. Like just give it like one good wash. Cause a lot of the hair that you know really like frizz up, mat up and everything. So then when you wash it, all that hair like clumps together and that'll make it lock way more efficiently. You know what I'm saying? Pro tip. The fifth reason why you should freeform your dress is because it'll allow your roots to grow in stronger. Now, I know this ties in with many of the other reasons, but yes, if you freeform your hair, you will more or less have a stronger base, or even if you have like the thinnest dread, you know, going along, you know, your hair journey, it's going to stay stable and it's going to grow efficiently just because you have enough new growth to actually hold the hair. So by freeforming your hair, you have enough hair because you know if you keep retwisting way too often, especially if you have like skinny dreads, for example, your hair is gonna get to a very thin point and it can very well break off. And that's not what you want. So the more new growth you have, the stronger your base is for your dreads, and the more you know your dreads can hold. So then you'll be able to do other things like braid hairstyles, you know, tight braids, twist outs and everything. And you won't really have to worry as much as like, you know, your hair falling out even from doing, you know, hairstyles like that. So yeah, freeforming will definitely help with that. And you know, freeforming more or less is like growing your hair out for like more than like three months, like after, you know, starting your dress initially. And that's kind of like, you know, you freeform. There's a semi freeform, freeform and all that, but you know, I'm not gonna really get into that. I got videos on it. And if I don't, I'm gonna make more on it. 
But you know, this is my five reasons why you should start Freeform Dreads. Um, let me know how y'all feel about my journey, you know what I'm saying? I'm liking it so far. I'm liking the length. About to hit 11 months real soon. I'm getting so close to a year with this semi freeform lock journey. And y'all seen, you know what I'm saying? Or if you didn't see, you can look back to the first video because that was, I think that's my highest view video. I started, you know, two strand twist, one month journey. Hair was like all the way up here, like no cap. I had some of the shortest two strand twists because I didn't know what to look. I didn't know, bro. Honestly, I didn't know what to expect starting to this journey. All I knew is I wanted to start dreads. I wanted to start it like a unique way, you know, not the same way how like everybody else would do it. And that's just how I came. And this is my hair so far. I got two more months till I hit a year. Don't know if I'm gonna get a retwist. Don't know if I'm gonna get a professional retwist or do a style or something. But this is my hair, 10 going on 11 months. And yeah. So anyways, this is my five reasons why you should freeform your hair. And you know what I'm saying? I'm loving the freeform journey. And we're gonna keep going. So if you're new to the channel, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Loki. Signing out. And we're gone.